Okay, so when you got an opponent in the high guard on the ropes, one of the tricks that you can use is pull this elbow out, all right? If you in here, first of all, have your head in a safe spot. It's either off the line, never have your head available. Slightly to the right or slightly to the left, all right? Or you could be under him. If you under him, you're safe. Because he got to bring his hands down low to, in order to hit me, right? He can't, he can't, this ain't nothing. He got to bring his hands all the way down, which gives me time to block. But from here, pull that elbow out of there. Touch that, touch that kidney. Or touch that spleen right here. It's the spleen right here. It's the kidney back here, all right? Also on this side, this is my ideal side. That's why Canelo always going with the left hook to the body, because that's the liver. The liver is the most deadly shot in boxing, right? Snatch the elbow out, boom, go down in there. You gotta get used to moving their hands around. There's no rules in boxing that say you can't move their hands. You can move his hands. So I can take this hand, come across, boom, right? I can take this hand and come across. You can take the same hand and come across, boom. The same hand, boom. You can come with the same hand and hit him, or I can pull this hand out, depending on how he usually react with this hand. If he ain't used to catching uppercuts with this hand, I can pull this out, open the gap, to throw my uppercut. Pull this out, open my gap. So you could try to check upstairs first. If he holding it tight, hold it tight. Hold it. Yeah. He holding it, he ain't giving it to me. Try the other side, right? If he holding both sides tight, now I can bar him right here. Boom. Because if I bar him, he can't move his hands. Boom, right? But well, when you're working those angles, always look for the vital organs. Hands up, I'm working my angles. Boom, I'm looking for down here, and I'm trying to slide up, all right? You can't block close in and block the outside at the same time. If his hands come in, that means he's open right here, all right? I'm gonna triple up on that thing. If I come here, he ain't let me in. Boom, boom, boom. No one, no two, no block. That ain't gonna do nothing. Also, when you're on the ropes, on this side, when you're on the ropes, people are used to blocking both sides of the body, all right? You throw one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, if he throws, you see I dropped his hand when I blocked the hook. That's what a lot of people do, right? One, two, three. See, he could have had me here, right? But if he goes one, two, two, two. Two, two, two. All right, one, two, two, two. Go. Two. See, I'm used to the three coming. Okay. So one, two, three, twice. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, two. One, two, two. Yeah. See, you mix up the sequence. Do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, two. See. Or he can mix it up with any sequence. If I'm used to blocking the uppercut, throw the uppercut. Uh. All right? Go. Throw the uppercut, then throw the right hook. Boom, boom. Do it again. Uh, uh. Again. Uh. Now throw three uppercuts. Uh, uh, uh. See? They're used to, people are used to doing this. They think you're going to do something else. So when you throw that same shot, they're available because they're going to move it. They're not going to leave it there. Another thing, one last thing. If you throw that shot, he's going to leave his hand there, right? If I, if I triple up on my shot, I know he can't move his hand because if he move his hand, I'm going to hit him, right? If I go one, two, three, I'm forcing him to stay in this same position because if he moves it at any given time, I'm going to hit him. So this is how you keep somebody in position while you wait to set up your other shot, right? If I can go one, two, three, boom. If I can go here, one, two, three, boom. That's one of my favorite I like to do. Triple the hook. I don't throw three big hooks. Three short tight ones. Uh, uh, uh. I don't, ooh, ooh, because then he gonna time me. Ooh, boom, right? So no big ones. Tight small ones, uh, 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 ooh, right? You can also go, uh, uh, uh. come with this hand, you can come here. You can also, after you throw that liver shot, boom, just come right back around to this hand. But you gotta drill it, boom. Come right around. Boom. 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 All right? Remember to be safe at all times. But a lot of times, even if he throws, he throws his punch, come across, right? Boom. Do it again. Boom. See, now that he threw it, he opened more of a gap. So you don't fear him throwing a shot, right? 
A lot of times you look at those fighters like Triple G and those dudes, they take, they get grazed with shots before they knock you out. Boom, right? If he don't throw, it's harder to get my shot off. All right, just a couple little tips.